Hi, uh, this is Mani from bsc2nse.com. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, a particular option spread strategy called uh, long call butterfly spread. Now, this contains three legs of uh, options position, and uh, this is typically for people who already traded in options, who they'll understand this very quickly. But uh, uh, for people who are just beginners, uh, it may look confusing, but I hope that this will be useful for you later uh, when you begin to understand uh, the advantages and disadvantages of trading in basic options. Uh, so, uh, like I said, uh, this is going to have three legs, so we'll discuss about that in this video. But before we proceed any further, um, I want to share with everyone. Uh, this art of stock investing book which is available free of cost in pdf format at uh, bac2nse.com uh, you just need to go to bac2nse.com and fill out a form and you will get this book on email if you like this book then you can purchase the book in physical format in amazon also okay so uh, this is a very small book just 30 40 pages you should be able to complete in um, just an hour little under an hour so let's now get into uh, this video topic uh, long call butterfly spread now long call butterfly spread uh, is basically for traders who predict that the markets are going to go up or the particular stock or the index is going to go up so the first core position uh, leg or the first leg in this spread is going to be buying one lot of in the money call or at the money call um, and uh, this is the first leg so this is going to be the core position the next position is to sell two lots of at the money or out of the money call um, now this becomes the defense the second leg begins the defense and then the third leg is uh, buying one lot of otm call so net to net it becomes a two to two uh, position wherein you have two lots of buy position and two lots of sell position right so uh, thereby uh, there is no unlimited loss in this strategy uh, so uh, we will try and see a couple of examples and see the advantages and disadvantages of uh, doing this so this is called as butterfly spread uh, this is a two to two spread where you know you buy one the one in the money lot and then uh, sell two of out of the money and then buy one more cover okay so I'm giving you an example here uh, this is a, a live example that I took uh, from uh, the markets when market when bank nifty was around 35,000 35,200 so the first leg here is to buy at the money or in the money uh, and assuming this is you need to employ this when you think that markets are going to go up now 70 percent of the time market tends to go up uh, markets uh, go uh, down very less so that's why i'm starting out with this uh, the same can be done assuming you you're going to uh, predict that the markets are going down then it will be a put option so it will be a long put butterfly spread so here you can see that uh, in this example uh, buying one lot of bank nifty 35,000 uh, CE at 450 rupees and then out of the money so here uh, what I would call here is I'm choosing a strike price which is three times more uh, than uh, the amount that I'm investing in uh, at the money or in the money so I'm approximating this to 500 points so I'm selling 1500 points away two lots at 35 rupees and uh, I'm buying one lot at another 1500 point away at 8 rupees so net to net here the premium that we pay uh, as an option buyer here is 450 minus 2 times 35 uh, because we're selling two lots and then uh, we are buying a cover for 8 so the net premium paid here is 388 as opposed to a normal option buyer uh, typically when we, we predict that the markets are going up we would just buy 35,000 CE alone so in this case instead of paying 450 you are paying 388 uh, to begin with so where wherein the cost is almost 62 points lesser 
uh, and there is defense incorporated into this strategy right when you enter this so uh, like i said we are choosing a strike 1500 points away so allowing uh, this option position to at least go up three times right so the max profit here comes when uh, bank nifty ends the uh, weekly expiry or whichever expiry that it choose at 36,500 in this case this was an example of a weekly expiry wherein the position gets held for four to five days max so uh, the max profit here would be uh, this 450 turning into 1500 assuming markets uh, bank nifty ends exactly at 36500 so there's a thousand point profit to be made here and then 70 point profit to be made here and this would become a loss so the max loss is when nifty uh, bank nifty uh, gets to exactly 36500 and uh, the max loss here would be 388 points which you've paid as a premium so the max profit would be a uh, lot size of 25 25 multiplied by uh, uh, 1000 1050 points and then an additional 70 points so 1100 so uh, this strategy can still make almost 27k in profits and the max locks would be uh, 25 into 388 uh, which should be a uh, little less than uh, 10,000 rupees so 9500 around 9000 something like that now you could uh, put this on many of the tools that we get on internet for option payoff chart and look at what is a max profit max loss and butterfly spread I like because there's both uh, offense as well as defense so let's go on to another example where uh, here the cost is reduced from 450 to just 388 so in the next example we're gonna see um, it's going to be uh, uh, a lot more uh, defensive wherein the cost gets reduced a lot lesser now the first example that we saw was 1500 points away which was three times the premium that you paid in the second example i'm going to choose a premium uh, otm strike which is 1000 points away which is only two times uh, uh, the premium that we pay 450 so instead of 900 points i'm going 1000 points away so here you can see that the premium is higher as a seller you get two lots at uh, 85 points so the net premium to be paid which will which will be a lot lesser than what we saw in example one wherein we had to pay 388 so here it will be 450 minus uh, 2 times 85 plus 18 now uh, this will work out to 298 uh, points uh, so as you can see it's almost a 90 point lesser cost as a buyer which means that the max loss is also reduced a lot in this example but the profits are also reduced because the max profit you can make is uh, 450 becoming 1000 and then uh, uh, 2 times 85 170 points minus 70 plus 150 points so the max you can make is around 600 points so the max profit you can make per lot is uh, also reduced to almost uh, just 15000 so uh, this is the second example where as a buyer uh, this you can sort of choose if you think there's very little upside uh, left so you have to choose these strikes based on uh, the chart or resistance or what is the uh, uh, what is the level where you would be happy to book profit at so uh, there are various uh, reasons why you would choose either 2x or 3x or 4x if you go 4x uh, then the out of the money premium that you capture will be very very less which means uh, that the, uh, the, the premium you pay as a buyer will not come down by much so uh, I typically choose between 2x and 3x but you can play around with 4x 5x also uh, if you like but uh, and again uh, let's say the markets are not going your way you can change this to 1 is to 3 is to 2 also by you can add more lot to the defense in OTM uh, so you have variations available but i prefer to stick to this and uh, 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 we can see the advantages and disadvantages of this uh, strategy i've listed that out uh, so as opposed to just a plain vanilla buyer uh, this has um, a few advantages the disadvantages are also there but i think the advantages overweigh the disadvantages so 
uh, the margin required to execute one lot of this would be around 50,000 and this is post execution because uh, the max loss is contained uh, uh, even though you ha you're, you're having two lots of sell position uh, the margin required net margin required is around 50,000 it can be 40 60,000 but always keep surplus margin in your account let's say up to a lakh lakh and a half before you execute because you will need that initial margin uh, while you are pushing the order in once the order is executed then the post uh, execution margin requirement is only around 50000 so this varies with time to time as the regulations keep changing a little bit here and there so but right now this is around the margin that is required and like i said uh, with a 50k margin you still have max profit potential of around 25000 and uh, in the first example that i said and the max loss uh, around uh, 10k so the risk reward is also good and you can still uh, trade and bet uh, positionally and uh, are, this is a direction based trade so either you uh, instead of this is just a better trade instead of uh, a plain vanilla uh, call option buy or uh, put option buy so uh, let me list out the advantages and disadvantages of uh, this butterfly spread so let's start with the advantages uh, because I think the advantages actually outweigh the uh, disadvantages it like I said it has both offense and defense offense is the first leg where you buy the call option defense is where you sell two lots of uh, call option and uh, by nature uh, uh, because both the offense and defense is there uh, the cost is reduced and the risk is also reduced the max max loss is reduced as a buyer the net premium that you pay actually comes down so instead of 450 it is 388 or 298 uh, depending upon how far away you are choosing the second leg and uh, so that's the major advantage here and uh, it gives more stability while you are holding because it's not always uh, right after you buy a call option markets are going to go up um, uh, even though uh, the markets are bullish and your analysis is right markets doesn't always move immediately in the direction that you like so uh, sometimes markets may test your patience it may stay dull for two three days and then move up so it allows you to uh, you know the net PL is also balanced so while uh, at the money or in the money the first leg bleeds a little bit so you make some profits and out of the money so it gives a lot more stability and uh, uh, as a trader you can stay a little bit more calm and try to hold it a little bit uh, longer than you than a normal just an option buyer who would panic and then then exit so and the fourth point is risk due to fall in vax is also reduced now typically <clears throat> sometimes before an event the vax can be very high and uh, as a option buyer uh if the vax drops by five six percent and uh, even though markets are moving in your favor uh, you may still end up losing as an option buyer but in this strategy because there's both option buying and selling involved uh, it is sort of vax neutral so even if vax reduces the out of the money sell uh, makes a profit and compensates for the loss uh, that you make in the first leg uh, so that's a major major advantage of uh, uh, this strategy so uh, like I said all three legs need to be entered at the same time and you will also exit all three at the same time so these are the advantages let's get to the disadvantages now uh, the profit is not unlimited here because uh, let's say uh, markets very rarely index index and all very rarely goes up by 10 percent 20 percent so uh, you don't get unlimited profits but you also don't make unlimited profits all the time so it's okay that uh, uh, though this is a disadvantage I would say 90% of the time 95% of the time in the trades you're not going to make unlimited profits so uh, this is sort of okay I would feel and uh, the next uh, disadvantage is that it requires a higher margin now if you're a plain option buyer then you just need 10,000 rupees if the lot premium is 400 rupees 25 multiplied by 400 450 you need 10k 12k as an option buyer to uh, just buy one lot 
uh, but here in butterfly spread you require 50k and uh, probably initial execution margin like i said additional surplus, surplus margin you need to have so you probably need a lack which is 10 times more but uh, these days uh, you can you can pledge your long term portfolio and uh, create margin out of it and use it as margin for these kind of strategies so in a way option buyer is more of a jackpot kind of a trade and uh, uh, it's also highly volatile and unstable but here because the higher margin is consumed the greed is also contained so i wouldn't say this is entirely a disadvantage that it requires higher margin but yes it uh, it doesn't uh, allow you know everybody to practice this you need higher margin to execute this trade uh, that is a disadvantage here uh, but it can also be seen as a advantage because if you have higher margin then uh, this offers a lot more stability and uh, uh, a lot lesser risk uh, so if you like uh, this video subscribe to us uh, stay in touch and check out uh, our book art of stock investing at bse20c.com thank you bye bye